All right. So I've got this one here. I'm going to do kind of the same thing I had told you to do on the other one. I'm going to make do it, and I'm going to make I'll finish off that right side view, and then we'll do the isometric. So if I'm getting ready to draw this, what do you think I should? How should I get started drawing this out? Wait, are we drawing the missing view? Yeah, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw both these and the missing view in 2D multi view, and then I'll do it isometric. Yeah, draw this, right? So, I'm going to go over, I'm going to use it just a point 0.1 for each thing. So, 0.4. And close it. And actually, I'm going to scale this down. That way, it's about the same size. And then, I'm going to go here, track up, 0.1, and tell it to come over, 0.5, right? 0 0.2, 0.1, 0.4. And because I like to have be done, I don't like to have other lines end to end, I just want that line to go all the way up. So I can do that. Just it? Yeah, I just grabbed the grip. Okay. And I just moved it to go there. So now I need to do this top one here, right? How should I do that? Yeah, I need to project it, right? So I'm just going to get those going. Then I'll just draw a line from some random spot here. So this is where nearest comes in handy. Because I don't care where I start, I, just, I want to start on this line. So I'm going to go from there over to there. Because I know that's how wide this one is. And now I can draw a line from here, just go up a little bit, point one, and that's going to come all the way across. Offset that one, point three. And offset point two. And then trim all of those, all of those, and then delete all those. Okay, so now I've got what we had here. Now I need to make that right side view. Draw my line. Where? Wherever I want. I'm just going to start it here. Is starting it here good? Now I want to be below this one and probably to the right of this one because wherever it hits it's going to go so I'm going to go like there and then I just tabbed to do the 45 and then tab back so it locked the 45 and I can draw it however, however long I want it because my polar tracking is set at 30 and I didn't feel like going over and changing it because I just have to change it back. So. And I project over. So now is where maybe I don't want to do the whole thing all at once. I want to do little pieces of it. So what thing am I going to see first? If I'm looking from the right, looking that way, what thing do I know is going to be solid? Is it going to be this section here or this section here? Which section is going to be for the most visible thing? Yeah, the one that's closer to the, to the side I'm looking at it from, right? So I'm going to draw this thing first. So I'm going to go over from here and down. Actually, I can even just back there. So that gives me that. And then from here, go across. And here, go across. Right? So this bottom line is there. This whole section is this thing. And I know that all that's going to be visible. So I'm looking this way, I can see that edge there. I can see that edge there. I can see that edge there. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now I need to make this thing back here. 
So come over, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. From there, over. Oh, this line is gonna be inside. It's it's kind of behind it, right? So I'm gonna see this first, and then this is there. I can't see it. So what should it be? Yellow hidden. It should be a hidden line. So might as well just do that now, and maybe make that one my object line. And now I can come from here straight across and trim and trim and trim. Is that right? No. So you gotta change the uh, hidden line on the base. Yeah, I need so that it only comes down to there, right? Yeah. So this line here starts here, right? So it has to be there. Remember the little box? So it needs to be there. And all right, we've got some issues. This part right here needs to be visible, right? And this part right here needs to be hidden. How can I do that? So I could just make this one shorter. And then draw a new one from there to there, and then make that new one the other. Okay. So what's the what does the divide command do? Does it actually break something into two pieces? No, it, it, has, has, points. Points. it has points. So will the divide command work? Will the divide command work? No. No. Ah, uh, look, break. There's there's break here, and there's break at a point. So that's what I want to do. I'm break at a point. Pick that line, pick my point, and I can tell it that one to go there. Also, those dashes are super big. How can I make those dashes smaller? I don't know. You did it on my I don't think you did it, so it scales it. No. So this is one of the things. If we go into our layouts, and I create a, a viewport for this. Some kind of does it, but not all the time. See, when I did that, you can barely see it, but switch that. So if we just click on the color there, we can change the color. I don't care if you leave it yellow or change it, but now you can see it, it changed the amount of dashes in the layout just by changing the scale and just typing RE to regenerate it. It fixed the number here. But even that's still, so you see here, it's still. Yeah. If I change it, if, change, if I change this, now it changes it. Because remember, this is the same thing as kind of presetting what scale I'm going to use for it. I can also, if I left this at one to one, I can type LTS, and I can set it at 0.5. Line type scale. LTS. LTS is line type scale. But now if I go to two to one down here and I regen it, now they're gonna be half as small again. Okay, so that dash. So, so you click on the, the lines you want? You don't have to click on anything, you just okay. LTS. Okay. And that changes all your dashes to be whatever ratio. So that one is kind of the default, but kind of I don't know. I've always just made line type scale 0.5 in every drawing I've ever done. Um, and so that's usually what I do. That way you get good dashes. So when you were messing with the scale over there, were you just messing with the scale of the dashes or you messing with the scale of everything? The, remember, this is, that's your annotation scale. So that, that'll affect what size dimensions are when you put them in, what size text is when you put it in. So if you made something one and you scaled it up two to one, it'd really be two. No, remember, this is, the geometry is the size it is. Okay. This annotative scale changes how big it looks like when you go into print it, so that way it's oh, the correct okay. size so when you print it. Zooms in and zooms out, but it's still mm. one. So remember, if we do our, our text, if we add a dimension to it, 
and I say, no, I want to be, so if I say one to one, and I put in a dimension, ah, come on, it's that big. But if I change this to be two to one, and I put in a dimension, now it's half as big, right? Gotcha. Remember? Because <clears throat> it's scaled so that on the paper, it'll be the correct size at that scale. But our geometry is the same size. So, it's, it's, remember, this scales, are, that's our annotative scale, so going to the drawing when we're going to print, making it scale there. I'm just showing you that's another way to change kind of how big the, the dashes look. Because those are something that, you want the dashes to be a certain size when you print it. And so if you have the same size thing, but you're maybe you're looking at the same part, but you have two different scales, we want the dashes to all be the same size when we print them. But no matter what scale they're set at. All right, so we've got this, and now we want to do our isometric. Which which way do you think I should look at? Should I look at it this way or that way? Uh, that way? Yeah, might as well. So if I'm looking at it this way, what would I draw first? Yeah, I could draw this this view here because none of it's going to be hidden, right? So if I'm looking at it this way, there's nothing that's getting in the way here. So I'm basically looking at it from 45 degrees and then 30 degrees down each way. That's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> so if I, I could draw this whole view here on it, or I could start by drawing this box here and going that way. So I'm going to do this one, might as well. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to go back in my 30 degrees. 0.5, go up my one, two, six, go forward my 0.4, down my 0.4, over my 0.1, and then back there. So I just, I just drew this all. Just remember, vertical lines stay vertical. So in the front view, if the line is vertical, it stays vertical, lines are horizontal, turn into a 30 degree line. Top view lines, they're all 30 one way or 30 the other way. So I have this view here, it's vertical and the other 30 that you didn't use here. So now I can just go from here, go to that 30.3, and since these are all the same, I'm just gonna copy that one to all of those. Then I'm gonna copy those back there. Or I could just draw lines connecting them. No. Because you can just click things and it just keeps selecting things. There is an option in the op in, in the options to, to make sure that make you have to hold shift. So if we go to selection right here. You, s you have to, if you click this box, then you have to hold shift to add things to it. I don't like to do that. I like to just be able to pick things. So I leave that unselected. But if you like to be able to, if you want to hold it, able to hold shift to do stuff and, and if you don't click shift at all, pick one and unselect the last one. If you want it to do that way, then select this. I don't like that. So I don't use that. All right. <clears throat> so we're here. What's the next thing? Box. My little boxy, right? So where is this thing gonna, how does it sit related to this? Behind it. Can I just start on the corner? Yeah. Look at that corner. This corner doesn't line up with any of those corners, right? So I need to somehow get from this back corner here down to there or up to there or something. Wouldn't it be the midpoint of the back edge? Yeah, so the middle of this, this back edge here is kind of in line with, is the kind of the middle of this. So that might be a good place for because I can start from here and just come out this little piece right here, right? 
because I can't see this here anyways. So that's actually a good, good starting point. That's easier than trying to find the corner down here. I can just go, oh, from here, go that way. So good, good call. So I'm going to go there, point 0.1. Now I can go down my point 0.4, back my point 0.1, and connect. And then from here, point 0.3. And then from here, I can go my point two, and then just go back forward until I hit. That's wrong. What's wrong? The bottom of it. Yeah, this bottom's wrong, right? That doesn't go there. Because this is supposed to be point two, right? So we'll go from here, go that way, point two. There we go. Now it's correct.